So I picked up the Active 5 Pro. I also picked up the uh, DJI Mic 2. And also the DJI selfie stick that has a battery in it. I'll talk about this a little later, but I wanted to see what this would be like on uh, night function. I can't believe how many e how many comments I got. Everybody's acting like I'm some super uh, electrician or something. I did learn a lot from the guys making comments, though. And I am going to replace the cord. I've had a lot of guys say that cord needs to be placed, replaced. I was looking at it. I was like, I wanted to save 25 bucks. Good Lord. Every time I try to be cheap and try to save money, everybody tells me to spend money. It's ridiculous. So uh, I will be going down and picking myself up a cord and putting a new cord on that dryer. But I did learn a lot about uh, the black and red and 110 on each side and live on both and hot. And It's funny how quick you learn from the comments. I'm actually going to leave that video up. My wife was asking me, are you going to leave it? I said, yeah, I'm going to leave it up. There's a lot of people out there that are new or don't know how to do things. I mean, and of course, they should disconnect or turn the breaker off if they're going to do anything. I, Mine was sitting on the front porch. Nothing was plugged in. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it up. There's a lot of good information there. I didn't know where did I claim I was some great electrician. But I did learn a lot from the guys that were commenting. So that's cool. I like that about YouTube. See, a lot of other people would have took offense to that or would have banned people or didn't like them correcting them. Or I love it when people correct me. I really do. That's how I learn. But I want to talk to you about Facebook Marketplace. That's the point of this video. And, and also to see how this uh, DJI Action 5 Pro is going to look. But... Um, and all I've got on is my porch light, so I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. So, and of course, my cat's over here. But I decided to take the stove, which the oven worked. One burner worked, but the burner was extremely hot. It was like lava. There was no setting. One setting, super high. Super, super high would have been the setting. And uh, so I listed on Marketplace... And I say, please don't ask me. It's available. If the ad's up, it's up. It's out in the front. First come, first serve. Pick it up. I must have had 42 people actually turn around and say, is this still available? And at the time, being it was the first time I posted on Marketplace, and the only reason I put, don't ask me if it's there, if it's available, because they seen other people do it. I figured there must be a reason. Well, I found out the reason. So I would say, yes, it's still here. And then I'd get a reply of, you know, well, let me talk to my husband first. And I'm sitting there thinking, you got to talk to your husband about a broken stove? Hmm. Then somebody else say, hey, is it still available? You know, and I'd be super nice, and I'd say, yes, it is. It's out in front. Let me think about it. Okay. Another person would say, is this still available? And I would say, yes, it is. It's out front. And they would say, well, I'm not really sure I want it. I'm just kind of thinking I might want it. And I typed the word okay, and I'm thinking to myself, what do you want me to do? Do you want me, you want me to put on the sales attitude and sell you a broken stove? I'm not, <laughs> I don't give a shit if you take it or not. I'll take it to the dump if nobody picks it up. I was just trying to be nice. It doesn't cost me anything to go to the dump here in my town. The dump's only 20 minutes away, put it in the back of the truck, take it down. I just thought somebody might want to scrap it or maybe fix it. I don't know. I figured somebody might want to play around with it. I got all kinds of messages saying, is it available? And when I replied, it was just, it took like a day by the time somebody came down and got it. And when they came down, they came down about 1 o'clock in the morning. I was sitting on the porch like I am now. And they pulled up, and they said, this is the stove? I said, yes, it is. And they said, the oven works? I said, yep, oven works. They said, okay, that's all we need. I says, the one burner works too, but it's on high. He said, I don't care about that. We've already got a stove where the burners work, but our oven don't work. So we'll hook this up, and then we'll have an oven. And the wife was in the front of the truck. It was a pretty rough truck, a little four-banger. 
And uh, she was like, so the oven works? I said, yes, it does, ma'am. Oh, that is so good. And they put it in the truck and they drove off. Now, I could have took that to the dump. And she was extremely happy that that oven worked. You know, I don't think people realize how fortunate they are when they do come across something like that. And that's the whole reason I put something out there. I don't know what somebody chooses to use it for or what they're going to use it for. What somebody may say, oh, that's a piece of junk. Somebody else might say, hey, that's great. That saved us some money for a while, right? So I wasn't so nice when I put the dryer out, though. When I went and put the dryer out, I had another dryer in the back. It had been out there four years. I was going to pull the motor out of it and pull some parts out. Never got around to it. Too busy working or just trying to go camping the best I can. And uh, I decided I was going to put both out. So I took pictures of and I took the pictures close enough to where you could see what they were in case you wanted to fix them, right? Now, the one I took out was the one that broke, broke on me was the heating element. And I knew that, and it was about 80 bucks to fix. And I put, I put that in the ad. I put my address, okay? Um, the other one, I think it worked, but it had been out there so long, I don't even know if it did. It probably didn't. Somebody probably used it for parts. So one, well, I had like, oh, my God, I had like 60, 70 people do the same thing. Is this still available? And I never replied. I told them in the ad, I'm not going to reply to that crap. Nobody reads, or they can't read. I don't know, but everything was there. Every detail about those two dryers was there. Where you could pick them up, the address, everything. You did not need to talk to me at all. I even had a guy actually send me a message saying, would you deliver? Okay, that did it. I trolled that guy. I couldn't take it. <laughs> my wife says, you're on my account, you know. I says, who gives a shit? I turned around and I told the guy, I says, do you not know how to read an ad? Does the ad not say, do not ask me if it's available. Please go read the ad. And then he writes, he says, well, all you had to do is say no. He says, but would you be willing to deliver it to me? I says, sure, I'll go gas up my truck. I'll go load it up on my truck and I will deliver this bro broken dryer to you. And he says, well, you don't have to be sarcastic. I says, come on, dude, really? You don't need to be stupid. Come on, get with it. So then he loses it, right? I've trolled him, he, he loses it now. He turns around and he thinks he's talking to a woman. He thinks he's talking to my wife. So he's calling her every name in the book. You bitch, how dare you talk to me like, I mean, he just went on and on and on. Words I can't even say on YouTube. And he says, you may think, think this is a woman because he had a woman icon. So he was doing what I was doing. So he turned around and said, back and says, you keep it up, I'll come down there and slap a few senses in your head, right? And I just started laughing. I says, well, I got a big surprise for you. I says, this ain't a woman either. I says, this is a grown man. But I look forward to you coming down and slapping me in the head and teaching me a few things. When can I expect you? He, be he blocked me. <laughs> If that's what you call it. That was it. He was like, ooh, that's a man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and he plucked me. I was like, oh, my God. But the people that were on there asking me questions and everything, it was almost like they were just lonely and they had nobody to talk to. That, that's, that's what the whole thing totally felt like. And it just, I just don't want to ever give anything away on there again. Next time I'll throw it in the back of the truck and take it to the dump. I was just really surprised that people were asking for delivery. And uh, I even had one person ask me, do you have the parts to fix it? And I'm like, well, if I had the parts to fix it, you think I wouldn't have fixed it? I mean, just really, really stupid questions. It was, it was just a, an amazing experience I haven't felt in a long time. And the scope I bought for my crossbow, that friggin' thousand dollar scope, I made a video about how it wasn't going right. I sent that video to the company and they didn't even, they, he immediately sent me a prepaid thing to send it into the company to fix it. He says, that should have went right on how many times you turned it. He says, you did everything right. He says, I even zoomed in on the video. He says, so please send it in. No, I didn't have to pay for anything, but 
If you remember back, I tried to do everything in my power where I wouldn't have to send the scope in. I even bought it from the company they told me to. And now I'm getting more spam like crazy from that company and I shake a stick at. So that really didn't turn out great, you know? It really didn't. So now I gotta wait, they said between uh, up to six weeks to send me another one. Six weeks, that's the tail end of deer season. I mean, Jesus. So I guess I might try and go out with my compound bow if I get a chance. But I'm so busy. I mean, it's nice to make the money, and when you make the money, especially with this recession, you really don't wanna turn down work. You really wanna just work, 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 work. And you just wanna keep it going because, man, you don't want to be in a predicament in this recession where you don't have an income coming in there. Boy, oh boy, that would hurt. And that, that's the crazy thing about it. But I'm just working a lot is what it is. And some people say, well, you're 60, retire. Yeah, house is paid off, truck's paid off, everything's paid off. But, you know, you want to upgrade things. Like I upgraded this camera setup compared to what I had before. Um, it all costs money. Just to upgrade this camera setup cost me... 800 bucks, yeah, around 800. So, I mean, it's nice to be able to do that. But when uh, when you can't do that, and look how inspect unexpected that was. My stove was totally gone. I was postponing it. Okay, that was almost 1,000 bucks for a new stove. And then you figured a dryer goes shot. That, I got that on sale. That was like seven or eight. I mean, you look at that, it's almost 2,000 bucks. Well, when you're not working, or you're low on clients, because I do computer programming, it's like, well, you hurt. You know, I have everything set up where bills get paid, I can buy food and all that stuff. But there's been a few times during this couple of years since the COVID, um, things slowed down. I wasn't buying all the fancy groceries I used to buy. I was eating, I was eating more soup. Um, I was tightening up my belt, I really was. And I was like, man, oh man, the gas prices went up. I could, I wanted to go out camping and I was like, man, my truck's almost on empty. Do I spend the money on gas or do I spend it on food? Well, obviously it went on food. It's just ridiculous um, what I had to do and the choices I had to make. And it was nuts. But things are getting better for me at least. And, uh, but that means going out less and working more. That's just the way it is. I did go out and camp in my yard in the one video you'll notice when I went out. And uh, that was nice. Sleeping bag worked out great. I'm super comfortable in the morning when I got up. My pup seemed to love it to death. It was great. I've got some products to review that I bought with my own money. I just haven't gotten around to videotaping them. I will try more. I got a map thing. Um, I picked up a dog collar for, it's an awesome dog collar and very affordable. It's like 50 bucks. I got to show you guys that. It's awesome. Can you stop? Can you? Yes, all the time. All the time. Yes, don't shake your head. You got that runny nose all the time. Yes. But I guess I'll get a new cord for the dryer because everybody in that other video is going nuts on me. <laughs> I did learn from that video, so that's a good thing. I guess I know more about camping and hiking than I do about wiring, and that's the truth. But anyways, I'll see if I can get some videos of those other products and so you guys can see them. If you have a dog, you're probably going to want it, and uh, I'll catch you guys later.